Hey, what is up everyone? Balan here and welcome back to some more Fallout 4 survival mode difficulty. I'm going to continue and do a couple more quarter mastery quests and I want to start off this episode by talking about association. And you might not understand exactly what I mean by association, but I'll explain exactly what I mean and what I'm trying to talk about with association. Association, the meaning that I'm going for with association is when one thing makes you remember another thing. It can be anything from a smell, a sound, a sight, but association is something that I run into on a day-to-day -day basis. And something that is really prominent in my life with association is music. Like I'll listen to an old song that I used to listen to a lot or a song I used to listen to with some of my friends or my brother or you know any of my family members. And just listening to that song will take me back into that time and that place in my mind, that memory that I experienced when I used to listen to that song more often. And it's just a crazy thing how association can work. I mean, sometimes I'll just be like doing absolutely nothing. It doesn't matter what it is. And I'll smell something and I'll be like, holy shit. And I'll start getting a memory in my head and kind of remember the old days. And that's just something crazy in itself is memory. Like if you really think about memory and you think about the depth of memory, like humans like are incredible with with their memory and of course like some people don't have as good of memory as others and you know memory will deteriorate over age but just the fact that we can remember something that happened so long ago is a, a true testament in my mind and the thing is is that memories are what shape you like there was a philosopher i can't remember his exact name so i'm not gonna try to say who exactly he was but there was a philosopher and he used to say that when you were born, your uh, mind was like an empty slate or a basket. And everything that you did and every, everyone around you and everything they said and everything that you learned would fill the basket up. And basically, the more the basket got filled, the more you become who you are and what you're all about. And it's, it's kind of a crazy thing to think about because it's like... You yourself and anybody in the world, me, you know, whoever's watching this video, anybody all around the world, this can apply to everyone. Like who you are, what you believe, and what you stand for could ultimately be from what you experienced when you were younger and what you went through when you were younger that kind of molded you into the person that you are now. And it's crazy because it's like, I like to believe that it's true, that everyone has a, a clean slate when they're born. And as they grow up, the things that they're around and the things that they witness and the things that people say and the, the experiences that they have kind of shape who that person is in, in life. Like, if my life would have been different, if things would have went different in my life, then I think it's, it's, it's very possible that I could be a completely different person. Like, my views on life could be different. What I believe is right and wrong could be different. And it's like, it's just like thinking of association Oh, I got, got a fucking, I thought that was the exit right there, but yes. speaking of association, it's like, I just started kind of thinking about that when I started thinking about association, just, you know, how anything you do and anything you experience when you're younger could ultimately shape you into who you are. So the thing is, are people at an unfair advantage? And it's like, you know, that old saying, how does it go? It's like the the kids are the future or the kids are the future of the gener the the this the the kids of today are going to be the future of a generation and it's like thinking of that every single person that you talk to and every single person that you meet you should try to make the best impact on them especially if they're younger because the way you act in front of them and the things you tell them and the things you teach them or even the things they teach you could in the future mold or change them in a good or bad way depending on what it is. So it's like, that is why there's so many fucked up people and that's why there is so many fucked up things in this world is because somebody's born and they're an innocent mind with nothing to grasp and nothing inside of their head and everything that happens around them kind of forms them into who they are. So it's like, for example, if... I, my little brother, like when he was younger, if I was a dick to him and I just told him bad things and hateful things, that could influence him in a really negative way. So when I try to, t when I talk to my, my younger brothers, they're older now, but especially when they're younger, I try to give them the best advice that I can. And I try to, to be, I try to give them, you know, 
good, just advice that would shape them into a good person. So it's like, I don't know, it's just really important to me because I think that the human race can evolve and go so far, but it's like everybody needs to be a part of it. It's it's something that not a singular person will be able to do by themselves. Every single person in the world has to work together to make the human race the best that it possibly can be and make Earth and the world that we live in the most beautiful and amazing place that it can be. You know, it's there can be 99% good people who teach good things and have good morals and raise people on good beliefs. But that 1% that raises people on bad beliefs and teach them bad things. And some of the bad things that I'm talking about is just, you know, like racism and, you know, shit like that. Hate against other people who are different from you, especially. Like, it's just fucked up that people, you know, kids are raised in an environment where they learn to dislike somebody because they are different from them. Either whether it be different in terms of skin color or different in terms of how people think and their views it should, it should be, we should work towards, you know, a world where we can all get along and it doesn't matter what our views are. Like we all love each other equal, equally and we don't judge people on what they think and who they are. So it's just, it's just important to me to try to sp spread a positive message because I mean, the best thing I could possibly do in my life and the best thing I try to do in my life, because I could die at any moment anyone can die at any moment. So I would be happy dying knowing that I influenced a single person to become a better person or influence a single person to drive another person to become a better person. There's an old Tupac inter Tupac, Tupac, Tupac. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tupac. Yeah, Tupac. There's an old, whoa, this guy's really low health. There's an old tu Tupac interview where he says that, that he doesn't think that he will change the world but he thinks that maybe one day something that he says or one day something that he says will influence somebody who will influence another person who will eventually help change the world. And that's a philosophy that we should all live by. We should all work work towards um, being the best people we can and spreading the positivity the best that we possibly can. Because when I watched that um, fucking tu Tupac interview, it really stuck with me, and I don't really listen to a, a shit ton of Tupac's music. It's not like I'm a huge Tupac fan, and I'm, and I'm I'm just gonna hear something that he says and then be like, oh yeah, that's right, because he's Tupac. Like, it's nothing like that. It's just what he said really inspired me, and what he said really stuck with me, and it's stuck with me since the day I heard him say it, that he might not change the world, but something that he does could influence someone else that could influence someone else that could help change the world, and it's like... It's a domino effect, you know, if if every one of us act in a good way and spread positive message and peace, knowledge and love, the domino effect could go on for years and years, thousands, millions of years, who knows how long it could go on, but it could eventually reach the point where all the influence and all the positivity that we spread could make a perfect world. And that's why it's really important to be the best person you possibly can be and try to get rid of all those negative and horrible feelings and hateful thoughts whether it be you know disliking somebody for any reason you know I've had my my you know fucking my fucking what is the word I'm looking for I've ran into people and I've had my problems with people you know like everybody everybody in the world's gonna gonna eventually run into someone and there's gonna be issues whether that person dislikes you for no apparent reason whether there's something that you don't like about them it just happens and I myself have ran into a lot of people who don't even get to know me and just judge me on what they think I am and they don't look deeper into it. Like I've met people the first day I ever met them and they're just judging me and thinking they know everything about me and just stuff like that. It's like they don't know who I am. And I really do believe that it takes a, it takes a while to get to know someone fully because most people are going to be 100% straightforward the first time you met, meet them. And even if they are 100% straightforward and they're 100% honest, it still might take a bit of time to be able to compre comprehend who they fully are as a person. Like, like I do, I do think that a lot of people put on masks. And I do think a lot of people hide who they really are and what they really, re who they really are deep down inside because they... People, I've seen it before, people change the way they act in front of certain people 
because they they want approval from other people like you know someone that I know who is my friend might act one way when it's just me and him but then when we put someone else into the equation it's just it's just some they act completely different because there's another person in the equation and they want to act different in, in front of that person like they they try to tailor towards different people like you know they try to tailor t towards pe different people so that they can get the best um positive like the best like what is it like impression the impression yeah they want to get the best impression from th that person that they possibly can so they put on a fake mask and they don't be who they truly are and it's like it's this is something that i'm against to an extent i i think that people should always act like themselves and there's there's boundaries in society where people you know fucking they they don't act like they should because they think that they'll be called weird or they think that other people won't won't approve of it or they think oh if i do this in public people are going to think i'm weird or i'm going to embarrass my family or or whatever the case may be they hide who they truly are because they truly believe that it's better to hide who they are so that they get the you know the approval and of others just because they think that they won't get the approval of others if they act the way they they're, they're the way they are deep down inside and that's another important thing to me is don't don't hide yourself don't be fake you know don't put on a mask because that is just going to limit you from the life that you should be living like people shouldn't hide who they really are if somebody doesn't like you for who you are then then hiding is just going to prolong the fact that you're not supposed to be friends with that person or you don't get along with that person you know whatever the case may be but it's like don't hide behind a mask don't hide behind your insecurities don't change the way you think and the way you you act just for the approval of others you know in a world that's perfect which i'm not saying we will ever live in a world that's completely perfect but in a world that's perfect people won't judge you for who you are you won't ever have to put on an act because because everyone you know everyone in the world will approve of you no matter what you think and no matter how you act and things like that and another i was on to and i had another thing that i was going to say but now i forgot what i was going to say but i'm getting really low on health and i don't want to die so i want to focus for a second um fuck i'm going to use a nuka cola quantum so i can get more ap points and target back onto this guy and i need a critical hit to kill him Oh, fuck yeah, I just fucking hit him right in his fucking nuts. Did you see that? I fucking nut fucking tapped that motherfucker. But it's just important that you be who you are. Because in a perfect world, we won't judge people for who they are. We won't judge people when they act how they're supposed to act and they don't put on a facade for other people, you know. It's just, it's just, I don't like it. I wish that people could be themselves at all times and they wouldn't have to put on a facade or a mask for the approval of others. And, and I don't know. Speaking of memory, like I, I had like a really cool thing that I want to talk about, but like my memory just completely fucking pooped out on me. But that brings me to another thing that I can talk about. Just memory in general, like, and the things that you really do remember, the things that are really important usually are the things that stick with you. And that's why you can think of something like, like you could think of something right now and then in 15 seconds it might not stick with you because it might not be of incredible importance. And it's like, it's like you, you retain the information that's important to you. And I think that anyone can spread knowledge and make it so somebody could retain something and use it in the future for the benefit of themselves and the benefit of others and that's just basically that's like my like I said earlier that's my whole entire goal in life is just to be the best person I can spread the, the best positivity that I can and spread knowledge and I mean you know spreading a positive message is great but like literally the best thing anybody can do is spread knowledge because you know I'm not speaking of just, you know, like school knowledge and learning how to do something in a certain field to, you know, advance in that and make money. I'm, I'm talking about actual knowledge that could help anyone in the future, just ways to think about life and way to, ways to approach life, just, you know, positive messages and things that will help people in the future. And it's like, I can't think of any certain example right now, but it's like, just, just spread knowledge because the, the more knowledge you have, 
the more power you have. Like, that's something that I truly believe is, like, knowledge is the most powerful thing in the world. And the more, more knowledge that you have, the more power, power you'll have. Because, you know, fucking violence never solves any problems. And I'm saying that as I'm playing a game where I'm fucking beating the shit out of people. That's kind of ironic, but this is just a video game. And video games, now I'm going to go on to a whole entire another subject. Video games are just a great way to do things that you shouldn't do in real life. Like, murder is something that you really should not do in real life, you know? And that's just one of the things in video games that you shouldn't do in real life that you can do in video games. And video games are nice because you can experience these things that you should never do in real life and, you know, just have fun with it in a video game. Like, I'm fucking killing people in a video game. It doesn't mean that I'm a mass murderer or I have anything against you know, people and I want to kill them or anything, and I think killing is fun, but I mean, this is something that I wouldn't ever be able to do in real life, and just this game in general is something that I probably will never experience in my lifetime, uh, you know, holo or not a holocaust, but just a nuclear warfare where everything is destroyed and you're put into a, you know, post-apocalyptic world, like, this is something that I'll never experience, and that's what makes the best games and the best movies and the best TV shows in my mind. It needs to be something that isn't 100% relatable because you don't want it to be so exact that you could do something like that in real life, but you want it to be relatable enough where you can put yourself in that position and then you want it to be, you know, uh, what is the word, Sign science fiction-y? I don't know the exact word I want to say for this, but you want it to be not so realistic so that you can experience things that you would otherwise not ever experience in your real life. And that's the beauty of video games, that's the beauty of mo movies, and that's the beauty of entertainment in general. Like, really good video games, really good movies, really good TV shows, they make you think, and they make you think of possibilities of things, and possibility of the future, and just all sorts of shit, and I've just went on a complete tangent, and that's a word that I really like to use, is a tangent, when you just go to one thing to another, to another, to another, to another, and you're going up and you're going down. It's like a roller coaster ride. You're just going through subject to subject to subject. But it's like, like the main point of this video though, besides seeing some awesome Fallout 4 gameplay, of course, and seeing me do the quarter master requests, is just to to say that I I want you guys, if you listen to this and you see this and you know you take in the information that I'm giving you. Use it and spread it, spread it to someone else. Spread a positive message. Be nice. If you have any things that you, anything that you think, you know, anger inside of you or any bad emotions that you shouldn't have, try to get rid of those and go towards a more positive lifestyle because positivity, knowledge, they are the most important things in the world. They're the most important things that you can spread. And that's it. That's all I gotta say. That's it for this episode. I did three quarter mass requests. I said everything that I want to for this episode. I think that it was a pretty good, pretty good tangent. Like I said, I like to say the word tangent. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.